game. Iowa, one of the best offensive teams in the country, and they are guarding much better during their four-game winning streak in Michigan. So good summer months, they worked out together frequently. They are good friends, but Hunter Dickinson said yesterday in a Zoom call with the media, fifth-year senior Austin Davis is now in to try and control Garza. Juwan Howard must not want Dickinson to pick up. Think about that against Michigan. Then he came back with 33 when they beat him up in Iowa City. C.J. Frederick gets it to go down. Smith tried to dump it off for Davis. It's deflected away, and it's Iowa ball. Hey, one thing Michigan's doing, they're coming out on the three-point shooter. Going to make him try to beat him off the bounce. Wow, Speaking of three-point shooters. Huh? Really hurt him. Wagner, baseline jumper too strong. Davis is there to put it back in. But do they wait? Bohannon and Wieskamp, they could all make the three. Yeah, and even Connor McCaffrey, number 30, one of the coach's sons. He's not known as a shooter, but he had four threes. His longtime coach at St. Joe's. He's the associate head coach with Michigan, an invaluable asset to Juwan Howard. Tough Juwan Howard yesterday, and he said he makes the players feel respected. The players feel respected, they give respect back, and you hear the word cultural. Both teams get a lot of production off their benches. Yeah, they really go deep. I would be take plays, but he's 11 guys. Isaiah Livers for shooting team. Well, the reason for that is because Michigan's locking up, trying to take away the three. And they're taking, what they're doing is taking them to the goal one-on-one. It's another move right here. Murray has a bright fears trying to turn the corner. The kick to Brooks, who misses the three. When the loose ball knocked around, and somehow the Wolverines come up with it. Livers. Got a guy on me. You better get a guy on me. Isaiah Livers. Isaiah Livers shooting 43% from beyond the yard. Four in a row. And they're putting together a very good resume. Indiana had what could be a, a damaging defeat at Rutgers. So it's Garza right here in this game. So that would be an enormous loss for the Illini if that injury were to linger into the postseason. Dickinson off the glass. Averaging about... Averaging about 15 points, eight rebounds per game, and a very efficient offensive player, 64% from the field. In transition, the respect guards out beyond the three-point line. He's knocked down 32 threes this year. Yeah, 40%. There it is right there, there is. Dan. There yes, sir, he heard you. Vision on the inside, knows where to find people if he's doubled up. Bohannon got the switch. Over Dickinson. Yes, his second three of the game. I think he's doing tick like normally Garza just is so strong He can back you almost under the basket and score. He can't do that to Dickinson. He's not pushing him around at all He's like no one rotated over gets the reverse layup attacks I'm, I'm really impressed the way that Iowa has attacked They shot one for seven to start from the three and they made their last two threes But although they've got a lot of work to do But there are so many of the big-name programs in college basketball Dick who are maybe on the right side. That was the Fab Five, as the love call in their games. Egan Murray now defending Dickinson, who gets really enjoy this team, as this is one special basketball team. Smith on the broken play gets into the lane. It's Marble, when Marble played for Iowa, and of course, Fran coached Marble's son, Devin Marble. So, Fran said the, the, the one thing he would have wished more than it. His mom and dad, Schroeder's just beautiful people. As is Margaret, look at this guy. And that bucket's going to count. Austin Davis tips it back in. He said something earlier in the game uh, during one of our breaks from Kevin Connors and all. And Sean, he said, you know, first time he's going to shoot over top of someone. Yeah, the torn ACL that he suffered a year ago. And he's such an important kid to this team. A long three for Joe. Boy, this is some wild stuff at both ends. The big guys are having trouble finishing. But Larson won that battle there defensively. At 44 in a loss in Ann Arbor, had 33 in a win in Iowa City. And what again, a it's hand on the drive to the goal. His brother Moses, that's my brother. That's my brother. Garza, no. And yes, the basket will count. 17 games, he had 36 fouls. And you look at Mr. Garza, so, I mean, Mr. Dickerson. Oh. See, they're really not allowing open threes. They're really challenging the Iowa shooters out of respect. He 
He's feeling it. And he buries the three, and we have another injured Iowa player. Six, the last high major player with better than 300 threes and 600 assists in a career. He was special, man. Let him play that national title. He has not gotten the ball. Livers with a quiet six tonight. Finds Brooks, and the senior knocks down the three. Dickinson again does what he can defensively, stands him up, walls him up. And Garza Dick is now five for 17 in the fifth with the excellent pass. Michigan really has elevated their game. The spark by Wagner has given them that real edge. And right now it's getting to a tough, tough time. For they needed that about it. He's going to be a terrific player in the Iowa uniform. He has scored in double figures six times for the Hawkeyes this year. Had a great game in a win over Rutgers with 14. Brad transfer. You know, he steps up in competition from the Ivy League to the Big Ten, but as we said in the first half, they have not skipped a beat. Not at Murray all. again. Look at this. They are playing without Jack Nungy, who will not return after suffering a right leg injury. Connor McCaffrey has not come back since suffering what looked like. And there's Minnesota. As we told you, a couple of teams who need to win a couple between now and Selection Sunday to stay in the field, it looks like. Great screen there. I think that was a jump beeline. Look to see John Beeline get back coaching the college. I really would. Yeah. Wagner comes up with a steal. Oh, that's that's a nice play. Every year over there in Ann Arbor. And really, when they came off the pause, they didn't look like themselves in the first. Unselfish yeah. basketball. But so does Iowa. Iowa just having a tough time not getting the bars of performance tonight. They needed everything to work well for them to win this game. It's not over yet. 17-7 by Bohannon. The three ball didn't fall. I said today, for them to win, the three ball has to fall. And today it didn't. Watch Michigan play, and I know you've watched a bunch. I've watched a bunch. You always walk out of it saying they play hard and they share the basketball. They do those two. Howard Isley, former NBA player. Boston College may look at him. That's his alma mater. Would be a good choice. How about nice this spot. guy? Yeah. Back out and on the bench, but he has not come back in the game since... Rolling his left ankle. Here's a nice steal. Weiss can't be in chase by a couple of Wolverine. Great feeder into the post to Garza. He's missed. And Iowa stepping up the pressure, trying to change the tempo. Maybe get field goal percentage tonight. You know, really, when you look, forget about the stats. To me, Dickinson got the edge because he made it so difficult. Frustration, trying to get open shots against the big guy Dickinson. I can see why Fred McCaffrey told me how badly he wanted a nice thousand dollars, and we matched it, and we're putting that money towards the V Foundation to battle that disease. The fine they cure. It's not as bad as it looked. Came back out on crutches, but. Maybe we'll find out tomorrow, and hopefully that is just precautionary. But Iowa has to regroup in a hurry as they're going to Columbus. And they're going to start playing their hope in the tournament. But their seating will not be good. Richie, be good. Stay out of trouble, all right, my friend? Oh, I'm not missing the last one. We'll talk baseball. You're going to have a bet. You got your Toronto Blue Jays finishing ahead of my Rays. Forget about it. My Rays will be ahead of your Blue Jays. You heard it. Rays and Jays wager right here on the air. What a nice win for Michigan. A frustrating night for Iowa.